<laughs> oh shit! Have you guys heard who the number one offense in the NFL is this season? Have you heard who is the leading, the <laughs> leading MVP candidate of the National Football League? Did you hear what that number one offense and that number one leading candidate for the MVP of the 2016 NFL season did in Philadelphia this day? This beautiful day! 76ers won! The 76ers won the other night! Did you see that? They beat the Pacers! And another team in Philadelphia won! And that is the Philadelphia Eagles! Clowns! That number one offense! 15 points? 15 points? That can't be right! The number one offense in the in Mr. MVP? Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't resist from getting funky every time this part of the song comes on. Okay, that part of the song's over. 15 points. Mr. Matty Ice thrown. Oh, final drive interception. Who, Leo jo Who? 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 What, you mean that guy that couldn't get in the end zone? A guy that didn't know how to catch a ball in the fourth court? Julio Jones? Who? Who? <laughs> he made Jordan Matthews look like he was having a drop free day. That's how often Julio was dropping the ball. All right, but in all seriousness, there's some very, very, very negative things that happen from this Philadelphia Dolphins, but we're not going to dwell on that. We're not going to dwell on that. What is this team doing? Why do they keep beating these world beaters? Or supposed world beaters? Because Atlanta, you didn't impress me at all today. You didn't impress me at all today. You retook the lead and coughed it right back up. You had the refs. The refs trying to help you win the game. Oh my god! <laughs> that no call interference on Sproles and that helmet to helmet on Jordan Matthews where he started ble he started bleeding out of his head! He started bleeding out of his fucking head! Doug Peterson is like, why is my guy bleeding out of the head? There was helmet to helmet contact there! What was the ref like? I don't know, Jordan Matthews got hit in the arm so bad that his his head just started bleeding. What'd you guys follow up with those two no calls with? What the fuck did you follow? Three and out. Give the ball back. Give the ball back to the fucking winners today. And again, my team probably ain't going to be about shit this season. And I'm not going to hop back on the, oh boy, here we come. We can push and pull through the league and make some noise. I'm just going to enjoy these games one game at a time. This was a win. This was a win that got a monkey off of the back of the Eagles because they were losing halfway through the fourth quarter and I'm like I'm not gonna have my confidence fully back about this team until they have one of those come from behind wins in the fourth quarter and take a victory oh, and take it they did take it they did even getting a nail in the coffin oh, was it a 48 yard field goal from Sturgis who is struggling today oh forgiven Forgiven, Sturgis, you get a pass. Whoo, boy. <sighs> you, you hit a clutch field goal at the end of the game. I don't care what you kicked short on earlier in the game. I, I really don't. I really don't. But, man, I just felt such a level of dick teasing coming in this game. Like that Falcons final possession, Najee Good commits a fucking late hit penalty, and I'm like, oh, my God, here we go. But it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. And just the luck of Julio Jones dropping so many I, I, this is I was like, I was like, oh my God, this is what it feels like to be an Eagles fan when the Eagles lose in the fourth quarter. Seeing your, your go-to wide re well, not that the Eagles have a go-to wide receiver, but his senior number one wide receiver dropping the ball. Dropping the ball in the clutch. 
It's a game you could have, should have, would have won, but you didn't. Uh. Because, man, the Eagles and the refs, and, and I, unless you're new here, I don't complain about no calls and bad calls. Because, frankly, you, if you're complaining about calls, it's mean, it means your team didn't do enough to make sure that a game didn't come down to a bad call or two from the refs. And that's, frankly, what the Eagles had, man. They started just kicking a short field goal, and uh, or a field goal that fell short, and, and just, uh, just drop passes, just... Terrible play calling on, oh my god, that third down run where uh, you're at the goal line and you, you super on the outside. Now granted, they, they tried that again later and it, it ended up working, but I, I'm not going to dwell on negative in this game. I'm sorry. I needed a big, uplifting, positive win. I didn't think my team was going to win, but sure, I guess I'm supposed to think that when they're, they're playing the games that they're not supposed to win. Atlanta was averaging 34 points a game. You didn't even half that again. You didn't even half that today again. You didn't half. You didn't half that today. You're fucking clowned. You're fucking clowned. My God, didn't the, didn't the Bears put up? I think the Bears put up more than 15 points on us. <laughs> All right, didn't they have 14? Who cares? Bottom line is Atlanta. Atlanta looked like. They they look like chokers in the fourth quarter. I mean that that that's a team that just is not going to impress too many people after this game. I don't think. Don't think. Don't think. Don't think. I think like if if Seattle wins tonight, Seattle will now then again be that elite team in the NFC. So, congratulations! You're the half season champions, Atlanta Falcons. Take that um, non trophy that you get and cherish it. Um, you know, thanks for coming into Philadelphia. And laying down to die in the fourth quarter. <laughs> oh, he took the lead in the fourth quarter, to be fair. But second half, not so much. Julio Jones was busy crushing earthworms by letting the ball hit the ground. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Again. I ain't overshooting this team to the moon or anything like that. It feels good to see a big, impressive fourth quarter comeback from behind win. And see them drive down again. Again. Now, great, I know it was because of a a failed fourth down attempt from Atlanta. So you got good field position. But still, you got down, got a few more yards to get that nail in the coffin field goal. And Sturgis kicked it true. When he's having a struggling day, the whole team. And my God, oh my God, if they would have squandered this just superior. And I don't even know why I'm waiting till the end to give these boys credit. But the guys on the defensive side of the ball, except for that one blown play on that touchdown, <coughs> defense was doing their fucking thing. We even had a sack from Connor Barwin today. I was like, I was looking at him, like, that guy looks like Connor Barwin. But he sacked the quarterback, so it can't be Connor Barwin. <sighs> Um, still don't see too much. I thought Fletcher Cox was going to look a lot better. If there's one thing I could pick on with the defense, but you know, that's minor because I thought, um, just, just, just the defense did just so good, so good. Um, but again, I thought Fletcher Cox would look better with Benny Logan being back in the lineup. But just, I, I don't know how, especially when Carroll went out. I don't know how. Uh, Matty Ice and Julio Jones didn't just exploit the shit out of that secondary. Props, props to the Eagles defense. They got it done. Big, huge win. And speaking of another big, huge win, how about them Redskins? How about them Redskins helping the Eagles get a better first-round draft pick? Yeah! Thanks, Redskins. Thanks for beating the Vikings. You're helping us get a better draft pick. <laughs> Oh, and talk about falling off the face of the earth. Vikings. Wow. Oh, but enough about someone else's team. Go, Eagles! Feels good to get another notch in the winning column. Back above 500. Savor it. Take that L and shove it up your ass, Atlanta. 15 points. <laughs> uh, suck it, you motherfuckers. Bye.